now let us study about the single slit experiment one more time okay the single slit experiment says that okay when light goes through a slit it will bend there's a diffraction happening okay so let's see this thing now so we have a single slit here there's a single slit here and then light goes from left to right okay so it goes like this way so we know that light goes in straight lines okay but actually what happens at this point there's a diffraction let's see that light later so if light goes in straight lines, light will go straight here, okay, like this, and it hits a screen here. So this is a screen, okay, and this is a slit here. Okay. The width of the slit, that is, we write as A. The width of the slit is A. Let's take the midpoint here. This is a midpoint. Okay, we know that light will go in straight lines here. Okay. So that is in ray optics. Okay, ray optics says that light goes in straight lines. That works in this region. Okay. So in this region, we say light goes in straight lines. It works on ray optics. Okay. But now we see here, but light will bend also. At this point, light bends. So this light ray goes upwards here, bends upwards. This light ray bends downwards here. Okay. So you can see that there's a crossing here. At this point, there's a crossing here. Okay. We'll divide this into two parts like this. So this angle we marked as theta. And this full angle from here to here, this entire angle, that angle will be 2 theta. Okay. So if this is A, this side also is A. This length also is A here. Okay. So you can see that from here to here, light ray goes, this light ray goes up, this light ray comes down. Okay. And in this region, wave optics works here. Okay. From here to here, okay, wave optics works. Actually, if you see ray optics, it works only to some distance. Up to this distance only, ray optics work. Light goes from here to here in a straight line. Afterwards, light ray bends here. You can see there is a bending here. Okay. So this distance from here to here, from the starting to this edge, where ray optics is obeyed, that's called as a Fresnel's distance. From here to here, this distance. Okay. This is called as a Fresnel's distance. Okay. Yes, it's silent, silent here. Okay. So we say Fresnel's distance. Okay. And we have symbol for that. Simply write as Z. Okay, some of them say Z also, Z. Okay. So Fresnel's distance Z. So now what we must do, we must get an equation for Fresnel's distance. That's the aim here. Okay. This equation is very useful in doing sums. So let's see the diffraction equation for the first minimum. Okay. So I will take any point here. The point should be the minimum point here. It should be the minimum means the uh, dark fringe must be formed. Okay. So let's see the equation for diffraction equation. This continuation only, okay. So diffraction equation for first minimum, <coughs> for first minimum. Okay, let's see this equation here, diffraction equation for the first minimum. So we'll take this uh, thing here, okay, this triangle, and there's an equation here, sin, sin theta is equal to lambda by A. Okay. We're not considering how it comes, okay, we just know this formula. Now we'll take the angle here, theta to be very, very small. Okay, if theta is very small, the angle theta is very small, what happens is, instead of writing sin theta, we write as theta itself, because sin 0 is 0, okay, so theta is equal to lambda by A, and sin 0 0.1 will be 0 0.1 only, okay, very very close by, very close answer we will get here, so instead of writing sin theta, we write as theta is equal to lambda by A, so let's uh, take this as equation 1 here, next what we do, we see the definition of friends distance, that means the distance up to which ray optics is obeyed, so that's the definition here. So from the definition of Fresnel's distance, from the definition of Fresnel's distance, okay. Okay, from this definition we see that 2 theta is equal to A by Z. 2 theta is equal to A by Z. 2 theta is here, A is here and Z is here. Okay, it's like a triangle here. This is 2 theta, this is A and this is Z. Okay, we can take uh, tan theta from this. Okay. So tan 2 theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side, that is A by Z. Theta becomes very small, so we write as, instead of tan 2 theta, we write as uh, 2 theta itself. Okay. So in this thing, bring the 2 down here. So theta is equal to A by Z. This is equation 2 here. Okay. Now, I'll erase this. We can see that in equation 1 and equation 2, left side is same. That is theta and theta. So if left side is same, right side also must be same. It must be equal. So equating equations 1 and 2. 
equating the equations 1 and 2 equate these two equations okay so what we have here is lambda by a is equal to a by z okay lambda by a is equal to a by z here and the 2 also is z down now i forgot to write the 2 down not here here you z okay 2z okay 2z will come a by 2z so in this thing a goes upwards here our aim is to find what is z so a goes up so we get here lambda is equal to a square by 2z Okay. Our aim is what you, our aim is to find z only. So we interchange this. Z goes up and lambda comes down. So z is equal to a square by 2 times lambda. So this is the equation for the Fresnel's distance. Here z means the Fresnel's distance. A means the width of the slit. This one. Width of slit. And lambda is the wavelength of the light used. Okay. So this equation says that if you use a higher wavelength, the Fresnel's distance will be less. If it is shorter wave, that means say wild color if you use it means the friends distance will be larger. Okay. Thank you for watching.